guys, my name is Sophia the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm doing my August TBR, I mean August wrap up. Um, I'm really excited. I successfully com completed my TBR for August, and it's not even September yet. So I'm really excited about that. So tonight I'll start on one of my books for my September TBR, which I'll be posting either today or tomorrow. So, um, I've read about. I believe eight books this month, and I'm really happy about them. Uh, I read three books during the readathon from Sunday to Sunday, and I'm excited about that. And then before that, I read my four, so I was really happy with my goal. With my, because I was hoping to read six books during the readathon, and I read three, which I was still very happy with because now I'm three books ahead of schedule, and I've read a total of 63, 64 books out of 95. So I'm hoping to beat my goal this year. We'll see if I can do it. Um. I'll definitely, definitely do more readathons this year because it really helps me. I really had fun. I enjoyed it. I got a lot of reading done, and I really did enjoy what I read. So let's get started. The book I just finished, the last book on my TBR, which I was going to try to read before the wrap-up, I mean before the readathon, but I said I'm going to wait till after and successfully was able to finish it in time, which is A Cold and Lonely Courage by Susan Ottaway. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I love this. If you like historical fiction, sisters... Um, I mean, nonfiction about women during World War II, you need to read this book. This is an amazing story. I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm definitely going to be rereading this probably next year. I just, I loved it. Um, about two sisters who grew up in France during World War II, and they join. They become spies. One of the sisters is asked to be a spy during World War II, and she becomes her, she completes her training. And starts working with them d during the war. To um, um, she codes messages and things so that when the Germans see them, they don't understand what it means. Um, she is captured and put in Ravensburg, the women's concentration camp. Um, she escapes and she comes back to America, and it's just a, a great story. Um, this woman who wrote this book, she um, the, these these women have died now. The, the last one died in two thousand and ten. Um, she died, and when she talked to her before she died, she was like, I do not want you, um, to use my name. And so she came up with the pseudonym for her for during the book. But after she died, she talked to her niece, and her niece wanted her story out there, so she was able to write this book. It found out that after she died, she found all these letters between her, her sisters, and her friends. And, and they figured out that she was, um, because she did not want to be known as a hero, she just... She was glad she could do it for her country, and she was scorned and changed forever by what happened to her. She just wanted to let it go. So this is a great book, and I encourage you to read it. Next up, I read Half Bad by Sally Green. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I enjoy it. I'm sorry for the second one. and had a great ending. Um, if you guys read this book, let me know what you think of it, because I honestly have not seen any other reviews on this series, so I'd really be interested in finding out um, what's going on, what you guys thought about this. Next up, I read The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I love this. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. I liked the writing and everything about it. So next up, the books I read for the readathon were I read World After by Season E.E., e., which I've already read this one. Now, these are books I do not have with me because I turned them to the library today because they were due, which the other books I read this month, which this one was part of the, of the um, the readathon, which I read Miss... I read Miss Perrigan's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel. I love that. I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, I was kind of wondering how it would portray the book, but it did a very great job. Of it. And I didn't feel like anything was lacking from the story other than just the lack of words, but it's a graphic novel and was quick to get read through. I loved it, and it gave me the information I needed to be ready for the movie. Um, the other book I read... Um, which is not which is not part of the readathon. I just read. I was gonna read for the readathon. So I want to read it now because I was in the mood to read and I read it. Which is I read Magnus Chase by Rick Riordan. I gave it a five out of five stars. I loved it. It was funny. Just what I needed. I've missed his writing so much, and I'm excited for his next books to come out. Um, he's just a great writer. It was well done. It was funny. It was interesting. There was nothing else I could have asked for. The other book I read. Just Harry Potter and the Cursed Shop Parts 1 and 2. And I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It definitely was not as good as Harry Potter. I could tell the parts that J.K. Rowling wrote because they were obviously better and well done. But I think it would be better in actual 
the form, so I hope to read it soon. So, that is the books I read for the month of August. Let me know what books you guys read this month, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!